All right, next question. Is there any reason other than current technological limitations that the Infinity Fabric runs at the bus speed of the DDR memory instead of getting a multiplier as well? Yes, uh, it's very important for the fabric and the memory to be synchronized. Uh, so while the caches run at the CPU clock speed, the fabric that ties all that together, because it's that uh, coherency mechanism is, and you know part of coherency is main memory, those have to be aligned. You don't want an awkward stall at the wrong time from your coherency fabric to your coherency storage. So that's why those two are aligned. But we're definitely looking to ways to uh, improve every aspect of the processor. So multi-threading, as we push further forward, then you're going to see more developments on the Infinity Fabric because it's a key technology for AMD as a whole. Mm -hmm. If you go back and look at Financial Analyst Day, there's a nice presentation by our CTO, Mark Papermaster, talking in detail about Infinity Fabric and how it drives every part of our business. So you see Infinity Fabric in our server Epic chip. You'll see it in the Vega graphics. You see it inside of Ryzen. You'll see it inside of Ryzen Mobile. Mm -hmm. So there's all of... This kind of stuff is pulling together around the Infinity Fabric. Um, so there's definitely uh, a lot of work to be done there to get to the next level. Yeah, and, and I'd just like to point out, be because we're AMD and because we're the only company that really makes high-end CPUs and graphics, that it's it's a it's an important distinction for yeah, us to, to, have, to have that fabric, especially for things like our APUs, mm -hmm. to have really, really high performance ways of linking those pieces together. So yeah. mm -hmm. we're going to see some really uh, great benefits from that when we get to Rise Mobile, absolutely. Mm -hmm.